Are you a fan of practical special effects? Do you prefer real costumes, props, and puppets over CGI? Have you or anyone in your family previously enjoyed supernatural comedies from the 80s? Then let's pay tribute to Ghostbusters. We're, We're ready, ready to, to perler beat, beat you. We are so very lucky to exist in the same reality as Ghostbusters. I think just about every aspect of this movie is perfect. The performances, the jokes, the genuine scares, the chemistry of the cast. This is top tier movie making. And a big part of it is the art design. Despite the supernatural elements, I love how grounded the film is. The Ghostbusters gear and ghosts themselves feel real and tangible. That's because they were. This was the first comedy to employ such expensive special effects, which were mostly creating puppets and models, often shooting them separately, then physically overlying the footage to give the ghost a transparent, otherworldly feel. The fact that this movie went from pre-production to release in 13 months is insane. The strict shooting schedule meant that most of the 630 special effect shots had to be done in one take. But as we know now, any budget concerns were dismissed when the film opened to number one at the box office and would stay there for seven consecutive weeks, becoming the highest grossing comedy of all time at that point, and the most successful comedy film of the decade. I gotta tell you, watching people be hands-on, making movie magic with miniatures and stop motion, is just one of the coolest things in the world to me. To see all the hours and passion that go into creating something in meticulous detail, this is why I prefer to make real, handmade pixel art instead of strictly digital. And now, with a new Ghostbusters movie on the horizon, there's no better time to pay tribute to some of my favorite Ghostbusters iconography. It's right here, Ray. It's looking at me. He's an ugly little spot, isn't he? I think he can hear you, Ray. Why worry? Each of us is wearing an unlicensed nuclear accelerator on his back. <laughs> Shooting, Tex! Alright, I'm opening that trap now! Don't look directly into the trap! I looked at the trap, Ray! Closing it! Now! You're right, no human being would stack books like this. It's the Stay Puft Marshmallow Man. I'm terrified beyond the capacity for rational thought. Not bad, my friends. These little icon sets might not be the most complicated projects, but it's a fun challenge to try to shrink down such designs while keeping them recognizable. You can take these pieces and make them magnets or pins, even mount them on a canvas just to make a fun collage. It's all up to you. Click right there to get the patterns to make your own. Thanks for watching.